What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. It's time to continue my 2023 schedule preview and projected records for the 2023 college football season. And we continue them with the Missouri Tigers. Here's the schedule last year for the Missouri Tigers. The overall record for this team going 6-7 overall in 2022. 6-6 in the regular season. So kind of a quiet season for Missouri last year. And a kind of an up and down season in 2022. You look at who they played in the non-conference. They played Louisiana Tech, Kansas State on the road. Albany Christian. And they also played New Mexico State. So they didn't really have too tough of a non-conference schedule. Of course, that game on the road against Kansas State was one of their toughest road games there um, in the non-conference. So, But again, not too tough of a non-conference schedule last year. And, you know, they had a tough stretch there with, um, you know, Auburn, Georgia, and Florida. Um, Auburn and Florida were both on the road, and they obviously had Georgia at home. And they really competed in that game. That was a game, you know, they probably could have won perhaps. But other than that, the schedule overall was pretty tough last year. Of course, you know, losing to Kentucky at home. Uh, that was probably going to be that was probably their chance, best chance to win that game. Uh, they probably could have gone seven and five last year, but all in all, a really up and down season for this Missouri team. Uh, we'll look, what will they look like in 2023? Let's look at the schedule for this Missouri team. Here's that schedule for them heading into 2023, and you look at who they'll play in the non-conference. They'll play South Dakota. Middle Tennessee here that you got your first two games here in the month of September and then you got Kansas State here once again this time they'll get this game at home uh, the defending Big 12 champions I'm looking forward to this matchup once again uh, it's a game that used to be played in the Big 12 last or you know when Missouri used to be in the Big 12 so but looking forward to this game uh, this will be on September the 16th and then they'll play Memphis here in St. Louis um, this will be a pretty interesting non-conference game so the non-conference schedule a little bit tougher, you know, this year than it was last year. You know, of course, with Memphis being on that schedule, you know, Memphis out of a group of five team and then also Kansas State out of a power five team. So, yeah, that's a pretty tough non-conference schedule. Uh, you look at who they'll play in the SEC West. So of course, we know we're going to be playing every SEC East team on this schedule. They'll play LSU here on October the 7th, and they'll play, of course, Arkansas. That's a rival game that's played every single year. Uh, LSU is a tough draw there out of the SEC West, so it's a pretty tough draw there, um, you know, out of the SEC West. At least it's not LSU and Alabama or, you know, Ole Miss or anything like that. But, yeah, other than that, you know, the non-conference schedule tough and also the SEC West draw is pretty tough. But let's go game by game now for this Missouri team. So they'll start the season off with four non-conference games in the month of September. They'll play South Dakota, Middle Tennessee. I think those are your cupcake games there on September 2nd and September 9th. And then they'll play their toughest non-conference games here with Kansas State and Memphis. The Memphis game will be at St. Louis, so it's a neutral site game. Looking forward to that non-conference game there uh, between the Tigers and, you know, you know between two Tiger teams here, uh, Memphis and Missouri. And then they'll open up SEC play with Vanderbilt here on September the 30th. And, you know, Missouri's kind of had trouble with Vanderbilt in the past and, you know, you know a few years it seems like. And I think this will be an interesting test here for Missouri. Uh, this one will be on September the 30th. Then they'll play LSU after that on October the 7th. That'll be a home game for Missouri. Then they'll play on the road at Kentucky. And every time we see Kentucky, Missouri play out in the field every single year. It's always going to be a close game. It's always going to come down to the wire. It always seems like it's a short scoring game, though. I'm looking forward to that game, though, again, you know, this year. And then they'll play South Carolina here on October the 21st. They beat them last year on the road. Uh, could that be the case this year with South Carolina, you know, beating Missouri on the road this year? You know, Spencer Rather coming back, so it's going to be a huge game here on October the 21st. Then they'll get a bye week after playing that game. At a pretty good spot for a bye week, they'll go on the road to face Georgia, but that will be a tough one there on November the 4th. That will be a away game there for Missouri. Then they'll play back-to-back -back home games here uh, with Tennessee and Florida. I think these are tough, you know, back-to-back -back, um, home games here, but at least they get them both at home. I think these are very winnable games for Missouri, perhaps. I think Tennessee is very, you know, really close to being a win. Uh, Florida's definitely most likely to be a win, perhaps. And then you got Arkansas here to end things out here on November the 25th. So schedule all in all, in all is not really tough for Missouri. Of course, the non-conference schedule is going to be tough. And then you got LSU out of the West. But you don't have to play any back-to-back -back road games. That's the good news for this Missouri team. Uh, let's now get to the projection here for this Missouri team. 
This is the scale I use for my projections if it's a 1% game. These are games where Missouri has no chance of winning in. 20% games in the orange. These are games where Missouri is going to be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs. 40% in the yellow. These are games where Missouri is going to be about a touchdown of an underdog. 50-50 games, these will stay in the white. Games where they can go either way, 60% games. Uh, they'll be favored by about a touchdown in the purple, 80% games in the blue. Uh, these are games where Missouri is going to be favored by at least a couple touchdowns. And then 90% games, these are the easy wins for Missouri on this schedule. So we'll start with the easy wins for Missouri here in the green. I think you got two easy wins here on this schedule. South Dakota and Middle Tennessee, I think these are your two cupcake games here, like I just mentioned earlier. I think, you know, with them being in the first two games, uh, Missouri should start out 2-0, um, you know, heading into this season. So South Dakota, Middle Tennessee, I think, are all game, or both games here that Missouri will be big favorites in. Even though Middle Tennessee uh, defeated a Power 5 team in Miami last year, uh, could that be the case this year with this Missouri team? It could switch to a 90% game, perhaps, but I'm still going to favor Missouri by over 95%. So, all right, let's go to the games now in the blue and purple I don't have any blue games for Missouri, just how the schedule sets up for them. But we got a purple game on this schedule. And I just got one purple game, and that's the Vanderbilt game here on the road on September the 30th. I think this is the only game I see Missouri, you know, being a touchdown favorite in. I think Vanderbilt, with it being on the road, it will be a tough place to play. And not, not like a tough place to play, but, you know, it will be a game that probably could come down to the wire. But it could switch to a 50-50 game by the time we do those predictions in the month of May. And, you know, this is probably going to be a losable game for Missouri. You never know. I mean, remember what I said, Missouri has had trouble with Vanderbilt in the past few years. Uh, could that be the case this year once again? Vanderbilt was a pretty decent team last year, but I don't think they're really quite that good enough just yet to compete in the SEC. Let's go to the games now where Missouri is going to be about an underdog in, about a couple touchdowns of underdogs. I don't have any red games on this schedule. I really don't see Missouri any, you know, losing any of these games in the red. But I do have some orange game on here, and that's the Georgia game here on the road. That's the only game I see Missouri really not having a chance to win in. Uh, Georgia, obviously, a tough one on the road. And Georgia's de definitely one of the top teams in the SEC. It seems like every single year now they're starting to become that program that really, you know, just dominates everybody. I know Missouri almost beat Georgia last year, but I think this game is, with this one being on the road, it's going to be a tough, really, really tough place to play for this Missouri team. And they're just going to have a hard time moving the football, let's be honest. But it's really too early to tell what these teams are going to look like. But as of right now, Missouri is going to be about a couple touchdowns of underdogs in this Georgia game. We go to the games now in the yellow. Games where Missouri is going to be about a touchdown of, under, of an underdog and also a heavy underdog. And I think you just got two games here on the schedule, LSU and Tennessee. Um, these are both home games for uh, Missouri. LSU, obviously, out of the West. They were really good last year. Uh, that's why I got to put this one in the yellow. But the reason why I'm putting it in the yellow, just because it's a home game uh, for this Missouri team. And the same thing for Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee was also another great team last year. But, you know, with it being at home, I think Missouri has a pretty good shot to pull off an upset. You never know it can happen, but Missouri has had a hard time with Tennessee now the last couple years. You know, I should say the last couple seasons of giving up so many points to Tennessee. But I think, I mean, we'll see how this game goes. It's too early to tell. But I think both of these games you can put in the yellow for Missouri. They have a really good shot to maybe win them. And the rest of the games here for Missouri on this schedule, these are all 50-50 games. Kansas State, Memphis, Kentucky, South Carolina, and Florida and Arkansas. I mean, they got a bunch of 50-50 games on here. I mean, based off of where these teams were from last year, I got to put them all in the 50-50 games. You got Kansas State, was, that was the Big 12 champion from last year. Now, that's a game that I probably could have put in the yellow, but I'm going to stick with it and put it in the white just because, you know, it's a home game for Missouri. And, you know, Kentucky, obviously, it's very a close, it's a very close game every single year. South Carolina, the same thing. And then Florida, we don't know how good Florida is going to be. Uh, we just don't know really know what this roster is going to look like either. And then Arkansas here, that's a rival game. You never know what can happen. So let's get to the projected record now for this Missouri team. So if you look at the schedule, again, it's not my official prediction. This is simply a projection based on this schedule. So if you look at the schedule, the games that they're favored in and also the games that they are underdogs in, especially like the Tennessee, Georgia, and LSU games and all these 50-50 games, and you get an overall projected record for this Missouri team, at six and six for 2023, I think that's a decent prediction projection. Um, like I should say, projection. 
you know, based on this schedule for this Missouri team. You know, because if you look at it, you know, they, they don't have to play back-to-back row games on this schedule. And, you know, they have very winnable games on this schedule. South Carolina, Florida, and Kansas State are at home. You have to play Kentucky on the road, but that's a very winnable game. But don't sleep on that Vanderbilt game. This is a team that probably could finish 5-7. and seven. I think best case scenario would be probably 7-5. and five. But as of right now, 6-6 six and six is the overall projection for this Missouri team. But let me guys know what you think about this Missouri team. What do you think their projected record is? And what do you think their best case scenario and worst case scenarios are? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.